Oh shit. So uh, today's theme is uh, synonyms. We're going to have some uh, education. Uh, today's topic, I'm going to shove into your brain uh, this knowledge, okay? Let's look at some synonyms, all right? We got faggot, used as a disparagating term for a gay man. An interesting word, an interesting word. It actually used to mean a bundle of sticks uh, to be used as a fuel or a kindling, but uh, it became a derogatory term for homosexuals as uh, back in the day, we would uh, punish being gay as uh, some sort of crime and uh, burn them. Now, what's a synonym for faggot? We got a loud cunt, uh, an idiot who drives a vehicle way too loud and annoys their neighbors, all right? And man, we've all seen them, and they're so cool, right? Like, we care enough about them to not think they're just really fucking annoying. Like, it's 7, and I gotta get up at 8, and all I hear is... <laughs> and I can't go back to sleep. For the last hour, and it's like, thanks for stealing an hour of my sleep. They're freaking grown men whining for attention. It's total cringe. Uh, for the record, you know, a nice rev, you know, can be cool. Like, if you floor the pedal, it's alright for it to be loud and almost natural a bit. But if you let it let rev on the highway, you're not really disturbing anyone. It's acceptable. Uh, it can be cool if it's your kind of thing. But when the exhaust is uh, tampered with, and let me say, the exhaust is made that way uh, for a reason. If a car didn't need that part, it wouldn't have it. And if a car or bike has to rev excessively to climb this hill, or to accelerate after a stop sign, the person who drives it is a loud cunt. Our next synonym is a uh, cringe. We got uh, to shrink back as in fear, uh, which uh, I wouldn't say fear. The cringe I'm talking about is when you see like poorly drawn Sonic the Hedgehog porn. It's like, it's like so poorly executed in dense of patheticness. Uh, we got another synonym for these uh, cringy individuals. We got a micro penis, which is uh, an abnormally small penis. Uh, like, you know, if you're compensating for something, you got one of these bikes. That's why they have to remind themselves they are cool and not balding, broke, and have a beer gut. Uh, like this. Grown ass men in their 40s to 60s. Alcoholic, beer gut, bald motherfucks. Cringy individuals. That's a beer gut in what they got. You know, dead ass livers, two divorces. No one really cares about them. Like, that's not a difficult thing to understand. Nobody is like, wow, that guy is so radical and tough. Everyone thinks, wow, that is fucking cringy. I can't believe I hear one every 10 minutes. I've seen it, man. These loud cunts literally drive in circles in my redneck ghetto town. Like, don't you got better things to do? <laughs> literally, man. It's fucked up. Uh, Man-child. A childlike man. Uh, I think that's an insult to children because, you know, these are grown-ass men that actually have uh, some accounting and a certain level of maturity that uh, one would expect. Yeah, you know, babies uh, constantly cry, and it's fucking annoying. But, you know, they're so stupid, and they don't know. Which, 
I think it's important to realize that these people are so fucking stupid they don't know how the world sees them. If they were smart enough to realize how cringy they were, they would fix their cars. Alright, let's look at some antonyms now. Our uh, first antonym for these uh, previous synonyms we've had is compelling, right? Uh, tending to compel, overpowering. Now, uh, this is an antonym for these cucks we were talking about. Like, you know, how hard is it to understand? Nobody cares about them. Like, how retarded do you have to be? Uh, when you are an annoying tard, everyone thinks you're an annoying tard. There are uh, three tiers to wokeness, uh, tiers of basic intelligence. Uh, the lowest tier, the dumbest tier, is for these uh, suspect cucks we were talking about. Uh, this tier, one cares what others think about them. Uh, one is obsessed about themselves and their appearance and think that others do as well. The second tier is one simply doesn't care what others think about them. People in the second tier have a better mindset and are uh, less narcissistic. The top tier of uh, wokeness uh, realize the truth that people don't think about them in the first place. Uh, we all have ourselves in mind. Uh, Sonder is a word describing the realization that everyone has a life just as complex as your own. Nobody's the center of the universe. And nobody cares more than half of a second about the cringe of these idiots revving their cars. I think to show uh, how uncompelling these here are, I'm about to drop some harsh words. So, I want to remind you of that disclaimer. If you're watching, you understand that these uh, low-tier dum-dums need to be told this. Alright. Think about how much you don't think about random dudes you see on the street. You know, you do your thing and that random dude does their thing. You don't think about each other. That person has a very little space in their head to care about you, and you have very little space in your head to care about them. You know, we all do our own thing. So when you're an annoying fuck, we don't magically think, wow, that person is so cool and must have a sick dick. We think, wow, that is annoying. And that's it. We uh, move on to the next thought. If you are the focus of this video, I recommend either uh, throwing out your uh, shit bike or the classic KYS. Ha! Huh. I especially enjoy the kill yourself option, because it uh, shows how much I care for them. Not at all. Uh, in fact, it's actually better if they were uh, with Jesus. I won't have to hear them. They matter so little for the people they wind their attention at. And them uh, going away by their own means would make it so we don't have to deal with them. The world would be a better place. If uh, every single one of those uh, loud idiots would have uh, killed himself, I wouldn't lose any money, sleep, or time. In fact, I'll get a few seconds of peaceful thinking back. Uh, this is grave, but it's 100% true now. I wouldn't kill anyone. I know I sound out of living, but like I said, I don't care about them, but uh, these faggots being so retarded is such a great antonym for the next word, which I want to talk about. And it's a nice word, and a nice way to describe the opposite of them. Also, the next, uh, fuck. Also, the next antonym is the second topic of this video. Uh, yes, it is a weeaboo trash word, but it is the only word in Japanese that I know. It's uh, wabi-sabi, alright? Uh, there is no direct translation in English, but 
the word means a sort of a oneness and a simplicity. Uh, now, the word is like the color red to me. You know, you could say it's sort of uh, warm, but the word represents an idea that is difficult to explain entirely, but a very fundamental idea. Now, it's a sort of a oneness, a natural imperfection, right, in the relativeness of aspects. Uh, let's look at some uh, examples. Like, let's look at this cat. Uh, he has a tail, and a cat's tail is to help him keep balance. And it's a certain size to work best for his size and how he moves. He also has uh, claws on his paws. Uh, claws are made to catch prey of a certain size that the cat eats. That's why he has them. Uh, they are claws specifically designed for that cat. And uh, his paws are specifically designed to make the cat walk and to uh, contain his claws. Right? He's a system. Everything that is him is part of a system and uh, works with a uh, tandem with each other. It's a sort of a oneness and a simplicity in a way as nothing is shoehorned in. An airplane is a good example, uh, especially since you can see how nothing is shoehorned in. It's a system that works together and makes each other. Like the elevator is a certain size and made to be that size to control the pitch of the specific plane that it's on. The fuel system is made to fuel those specific engines, and those specific engines are those size to accelerate the plane. There is a symbiotic relationship between all the parts, and uh, nothing is shoehorned in. Uh, you know, you see no random uh, pole sticking out of the side of the plane, as that would not serve a purpose, and it would make the plane have more air resistance, which would not be beneficial to the process. Uh, cars? Cars are uh, specifically uh, made to drive around other cars in a populated environment, right? A car's engine is made to be quiet, as that best suits the environment that it's in. It's a uh, wabi-sabi, right? Motorcycles and cars are a uh, intended to be quiet. Yeah, if you touch the pedal, it's unnatural for the car to be loud. It's a very shoehorned. It's a very shoehorned to have a bike that sounds like a fucking explosion. Uh, when it's accelerating to 25 miles per hour. Well, because that's resisting the environment that it's in. It's like having the sound equivalent of a pole sticking out of the plane's wing. It serves no purpose and only makes the thing seem stupid. Uh, cars and motorcycles are not made to be excessively loud, and the loudness is cringy and just shoehorned in. Alright, let's get back to synonyms. Retard. Echt, 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 echt,